Hey everyone, it's David, aka Coma2000. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is a quick video about how to record your voice or literally anything, your instruments into VCV Rack. I haven't tried this since uh, VCV1 where there was an insane amount of latency. But here, actually, uh, there is no latency, so you can use a direct monitoring. You can use VCV Rack as a direct monitoring device because what I have here is uh, one audio module uh, where I have the my USB microphone selected, but uh, you can go with your built-in um, microphone if you want, so let's try that. Oh, so this is my built-in microphone. You can hear that there is much more noise. So let's go back to the um, USB mic. So we're back to the USB mic now. And from there, well, you could skip the mixer if you want, but uh, here you can adjust the volume. So you can go quieter and you can go louder and even increase the gain. If you right click on the mind meld mixer, um, you can go up by a couple of decibels, actually quite a lot of decibels if you want, if your microphone uh, is recording at a low level, but you know, you can increase the levels super easily. And from there, well, we are going into uh, some effects, but you can select whatever effects you want. So I have a uh, some distortion here so you can play around with that and listen to how your voice sounds um, you can change the tone if you want so um, the drive the distortion amount and adjust the gain accordingly and from there i'm going into plateau a reverb um, now we have the drive bypass so it's only the reverb but you can turn on the drive too so let's try that uh, distortion plus um, reverb okay well, stop messing around and uh, from there well we have uh, we are going into three different places once i'm going into the audio module where i have the built-in output selected and I have my headphones plugged in. So this is what I mean by direct monitoring. Uh, watch out not to do this on your speakers because then you're gonna get feedback and well, you will see. Uh, uh, try it at your own peril. And uh, also I'm going to two separate recorders and this is kind of a simple way of uh, doing polyphonic recording. Uh, but the other way would be to select uh, the Polyrec by Nischi, for example, where you can, where you use only one recorder to record up to 64 tracks. But why am I doing this? Well, if you are jamming, for example, on, a, on an instrument, so um, I have my guitar here. Uh, let me turn up the reverb. Let's, let's see. then you might want to uh, experiment with the sounds and jam along, but also record the dry signal so that you can maybe put it into a sampler and then play it back and uh, add the effects later on, because now we record in this one, we are recording in, we are hard coding in the effects, uh, but maybe you have some great sound and uh, you have also the dry signal so you can add the effects later. I'll do another video on uh, samplers in a short time hopefully so you can see how that works or you know you can experiment with that um, and also I have this push module so I can start the two recorders at the same time and well it's this simple so uh, download the patch and feel free to experiment with it and you know let me try some more 
guitar sounds here. I have <laughs> I haven't tried this in a, in a while because of the latency, as I said, with VCD one. But this is super fun. So um, I have an acoustic guitar, uh, but you can distort the sound as much as you want. You can create effects, uh, whatever you want. So let's do some uh, distortion. Um. was uh, me uh, whistling a little bit, but you know, you know, take it easy, keep it simple and have fun. Peace.